All right, so got a little CNC vlog here. All right, so I'm going to melt this plastic down. This is about as basic as it can possibly get. We just got a single portable burner here. And I got this old pot that I cleaned up, which was, you can see there's char marks in the bottom of the pan uh, from something that actually burned in the bottom of the pan at one point. So this pan is basically worthless. And then I have this uh, can of Loma Linda Big Franks that um, I used to make some uh, vegetarian lasagna, which was quite good actually, I might add. But I use the can here um, as sort of my my crucible, if you will, for melting this prep plastic. It's plastic, of course, not metal, but uh, it should be just the same. I'm not sure if this burner is going to actually have enough power or oomph to do this, uh, especially since I've got the garage door open right here partially, and it's like the coldest day of the year, so cold air is blowing right in here. I need some ventilation, um, but of course it's the coldest air right on the burner, and I'm not sure if it's actually going to get hot enough, um, which is why I have my little trusty heat gun sitting right here close by just in case, just to see what I can do, and I'm trying to see if it's warming up at all and it doesn't appear to be so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and put some plastic in here and if I see that it's starting to melt then I know that the temperature is coming up so we'll just uh, drop that right in there and we're gonna see if we can cook this stuff down into a liquid we'll see what we can do don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll try. And there's the uh, melted piece from the uh, test melt. Ugh. It's not working out the way I wanted it to. Come on. Okay. Well, that's not working out either. There we go. Alright, let's see how well that works. Can't tell if it's... Anyways, I'll uh, come back once I see some results here. Alright, we are starting to melt just ever so slightly just starting to melt only just barely so it is taking and it's it's probably been about 10 15 20 minutes um, just barely starting to get sticky down there but this is good this is at least it's doing something little by little I think we'll get there such a cold day today. It's yeah, it's melting. Look at that. All right, good. All right. Well, I'll just uh, keep at it here and uh, shoot some videos and make some more progress. See it, bye. All right. So I switched out the burner because that other burner just didn't have enough oomph. In addition, I got my trusty little heat gun blowing down in here, and I am I set it to a temperature of 800 degrees. And between the the oil bath, the new burner getting higher temperatures and the heat gun I'm getting a lot better meltage now so I think I'm gonna go ahead and step it up and start adding more now that I've melted down most of my little bits of scrap so here we go I'm gonna keep going and make a little bit more progress hopefully things will start to accelerate as things warm up out here all right see it all right here we go adding the next batch get it all down inside there make sure we don't have any going over the lip here and we'll see if we can get all of that to melt down and again I'll have to use the heat gun to help it out
I can see my battery is getting low here, so I'm probably going to just cut out and let it charge and uh, just keep going on melting here, and we're just going to have all kinds of fun with this. This is a lot of fun. It's just a really cold day to be melting. Anyways, all right, we're going to let it go. Take care. Bye. See ya. Bye. All right, so I uh, have been running the heat gun nonstop along with this oil uh, in this pan. I changed the burners, like I said. Um, and it is with the heat gun it is just barely enough to melt this thing um, it's it's sorta it really takes a lot to melt it but you can see it's kinda got this um, I don't know what to call that like a play-doh like texture um, and I can't get it any hotter and I can't it's just too darn cold out and I don't have enough oil and the pan's not big enough. I just really went cheap, as cheap as I could and of course I paid the price because it's not the best. Um, but, and this is about as far as I can get without, because the temperature is cooling off the, the more I put into this can. Um, the higher up it comes, the further away from the oil it comes and the more difficult it is to keep it liquid like this. Um, so, or not really liquid but sort of in this sort of play-doh like uh, consistency um, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to the mold before and try and empty this pan out or this uh, can out just so I can keep going because I've still got bags of stuff and it, it does work um, but it's not gonna be one pour all at once like I had hoped uh, not with this kind of plastic anyways maybe with some of the other kind of plastics uh, but not with this this is just really not gonna work in the way that I had hoped in a liquid pour um, I can just barely keep it uh, like this so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it right now and uh, you guys can kinda watch here and hopefully if I make any more screw-ups you'll see you can kinda see I spilled some oil around here while I was trying to um, get the stuff jammed down in there anyways uh, here we go let's go ahead and see if we can transfer it over to the mold and we'll see how this works. I got the pliers ready because it's hot. Even if it's a cold day out, it's still hot. And of course, that oil is smoking like crazy, which doesn't help. I mean, it's hot as I can get it, and it's just barely getting by. Okay. I may need to, hopefully it has enough thermal mass to keep going. Can I get it out of there before it freezes? I don't know. Am I going to break my stir stick off? Probably. This stuff is pretty tough. Doesn't want to come out of there. Oh man, this stuff is really tough. And it is tightening up. I need to get a different stir stick. 
this stuff is just getting too bad, too quick. It's too cold out. Oh my goodness. Alright. This is not really working. Maybe I can at least keep it kind of going. I'll grab a tougher stick to try and get it out of there. It just does not want to come out. Ah, okay. Ah, it's sort of working. Oh man, that's tough stuff. Maybe I should have lined to this thing with that, that uh, nonstick plastic. Goodness, and the cold air is blowing at the same time. It's cooling it off. Ah, oh, come on. Please, would be helpful. <sighs> okay. Probably just need to form it right in the mold that I want and have a heated mold. This stuff is tough. Yo! Ouch. Bottom is really hot, of course. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. At least it's getting out. Sort of. Mostly. Oh, there you go. Oh man, that's hardening. Cold of a day to do this. There you go. It's hardening up as I'm pulling it out. There you go. All right, we got some of it in there. Come on, there you go. Can we get any more out? I don't know. We can try. Yes. Oh my goodness.
Need to heat it back up. Okay. All right. Really cooling off fast. That's a messy, messy stuff. That is messy, messy, nasty, nasty stuff. Well, learn my lesson. Don't do it on the coldest day of the year. If I ever get a chance to remelt it, I'm not going to do it on the coldest day of the year. Okay. All right. Well, you've probably seen the worst of it, or maybe not, but um, that kind of gives you an idea of the challenges I'm facing. Hopefully this is uh, the only plastic that's like this, and the others aren't quite as bad. Anyways, we'll just uh, figure it out and keep going, I guess. All right. All right, amazingly, I was able to scrape the bottom of that pan enough, that can, to get all of it out, except down to where the point where I could see the bottom and uh, get it all into that mold over there. Uh, but I've got a lot more to do. It certainly reduces the amount of space that it takes up, so I'm going to keep going. And it may not be a perfect mold, and it may not be pretty when I take it out of there, but it does conserve a lot of space. And maybe I can do something with it someday. I don't know if I ever, ever have a better setup. Um, but I'm going to keep going. Hopefully I don't completely smoke myself out. Uh, if we ever have a problem with a fire, whatever, this oil, this is peanut oil. If we ever had a problem, I've got the fire extinguisher right here, so we should be good. And it is the coldest day of the year, so... All I have to do is open up the garage door and it'll put out any sort of flames. Anyways, we'll just keep going. Alright, see ya. Bye.